This one is append to object. So we're implementing a type that adds a new field to an interface. So we take in that initial interface as the first argument. And the second argument is the, uh, is the name of the key. So in this case, value was the name that was uh, selected. And then the value of that thing. Maybe value is a bad name for this in retrospect, uh, but I don't write the challenges. But ID one and then value is four. So key value type of structure. All right. And there's a lot of tests up here for this one. Um, John's already you're already here in the in the in the code getting getting started. So where would you start with something like this? Yeah, so it seems like this one is fairly straightforward. I would start by at least introducing some constraints, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, what do we possibly need? So U is the key, so I suppose it would be good to make that extends property key. Yep. Um I don't know if we care about value too much, actually, though. Cause that I think you use the big one. one, yeah. Yeah, so that's basically all we need for that. Um, and so we're basically doing, uh, we're adding to T, so we probably want T and something else, okay. uh, intersection, maybe record UV. Is that what we need for this? Um, let's see what we're failing on. So... Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I hate this about TypeScript. When you use the the and guy there, it doesn't give you very good output to show you what it really is equating to. So for me, anyway, it's showing test test three and if I hover over a three, for example, it shows test three and record is mother. What is is mother Russia? Okay, <laughs> it's it's mother Russia again. I don't write these tests, but. Uh, it's not very helpful, okay. I think. Okay, um, let's actually, let's see. Um, we could possibly use spread as an alternative to this. So um, maybe we can do something along the lines of... Uh, it doesn't work for objects in TypeScript. Could, I didn't think you could do that. Yeah, yeah. you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, just checking. So we do need to use an intersection, most likely, unless there's another trick here I'm missing. Well, what we um, can what we can do for the intersection is instead I'm gonna like uh, comment this line. Instead of this syntax, we can just map it directly. So we can just do like p in key of uh, I guess it'd be t or u because it's either. And then we have here like that's where we can do the the intersection, and that's just basically exactly what you wrote before. Um, Except, I guess the thing is now we need to, like, let's hover over A3. Is it going to help? Okay, it's it's a, it's close. So now what's happening is in those cases, it's giving us the full thing, and really we don't want that. We just we just want the values, and we got those values yeah. from from uh, from our P that we created the prop the P for property. So we can just access that structure we built up to grab those properties. So this is kind of like pick almost. Little re implemented. Sorry, All I did right. it for you. Okay. No, 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 it's okay. Uh, it seems like with TypeScript, sometimes the trick is just knowing what you can and cannot do because mm -hmm. it's, it's always a little surprising. There's some things that work and you don't expect them to, and there's some things that don't work and you kind of do. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. And this is the trick in this case is using the or. It's an or here, but an and there. I don't know. I never really have, I don't think I have a good mental oh. model. I would say don't think of them as or and and because it's really union and intersection. Mm -hmm. And I will admit that I can't logically explain why the intersection works the way it does with record. But with union, at least it's really straightforward. It's just a typical type union, you know? Yeah, definitely. So I looked up online for a couple ways that people have solved this. And let's name this one zero. And I found some other solutions. This one was kind of interesting. So... We're saying, oh, I don't like this. Let's change this to P or something. Um, okay, so same same table stakes here for the, we can just, I think this will fit on one line with our editor constraints here for the video. Yeah, that's fine. So this is making a map structure. Up to this point, it's pretty much the same. I get, you don't need all these parentheses, I suppose. Um, we can get rid of that. Um, and then they're, they're saying, does P extend key of T? Uh, then grab the value, which is kind of what we did. Otherwise, just pass in that value. So it's really the same in the end. I mean, of course it is because the tests, all the same tests still pass, but it's a sort of maybe simpler way of going about this without having to deal with the intersection. 
Yeah, you know, I'd actually guess that the main advantage here is is probably faster from the perspective of TSC because it doesn't have to construct that intermediate. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have to collide them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Um, and then the final, we did one of the solutions that I found as well. I think, yeah, we sure did. Um, oh, no, there's two more. So then there's this one I found as well, which I thought was kind of interesting. So it created this, um, they called it flatten. Um, I don't know. I never seem to understand what flatten is. Like, isn't that... Um, well, anywho, n n flatten aside, let's make sure these tests pass before I'm a liar. They do pass. So this, this part is all the same on the generic constraints, but it's just passing flatten and we're giving T and this is kind of like saying record, uh, like we have record UV up there, I think similar. And this flatten guy is kind of adding them together. So I don't know. I don't like this I one so much because it's it's like a lot of back and forth, and I don't really I don't really get it. Um, the most terse one of all that I found was this one. What? Right. Oh. right. <laughs> no, I I think I understand what's going on here. Okay, um, this tell me. could be wrong. Uh, so I hope hope hopefully this is in the right vein. So I think what's happening is when you do this intersection, it's generating a type that is like it has to be both of these types, which is impossible. Um, but when you map over it, you get the keys from both because when you get the keys out of it, it's pulling them from both sides of the intersection. And I think that's why flatten works because it's creating something that gets rid of the intersection. Oh, it's oh, kind of counterintuitive, isn't it? Because like, it feels like it's just passing in the same thing you're getting, but if you have an intersection, I believe that Kia will go over the intersection uh, because you couldn't normally have an intersection of two completely incompatible objects. So it would be impossible to satisfy. Oh, so you're like kind of like reconstructing it to something useful. Yeah, so when you really think about it, the omit is basically just using omit as a, a copy of flatten because when you pass never into omit, it's just not doing anything. It's not omitting anything. Oh, interesting. Any type union with never is going to be the type union without never. It's the same thing. Oh, okay. It's just abusing omit. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> see, this is why it's nice to have a co-host for stuff like this. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little... Uh, I guess I'm not a TypeScript uh, connoisseur enough to know this stuff, but together, together we're better. <laughs> I'm just guessing. If anyone from the TypeScript uh, TypeScript team watches this, they're probably screaming. But I'm <laughs> guessing it might be like um, this. Well, maybe that can be. Uh, I've been talking about maybe after all of these challenges, I'll make a video showing what I learned. Maybe eventually I'll learn this uh, in a way that I can express to the world because I can barely uh, make sense of it if I see the answer. Sometimes I just find myself fiddling with this and making it like that and seeing if things pass and, you know, trying to trying to figure things out. But cool. Let's keep moving. Great.